Hello Scorpio, thank you for tuning back in. My name is Rosa and you've tuned into Cancer Moon Oracles. Uh, thank you to all of you who have liked, shared and, and subscribed to my channel. Um, this is three weeks now that I, I have been on YouTube land and I'm really, really loving being here. Um, this week, Scorpio, I'm going to be bringing you a weekly Love Vibes reading. This is just a general reading for the Scorpio Collective. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And I always set the intention, Scorpio, that whatever messages that I channel through the cards, that they help you with where you're currently at, okay? Even if you can take away one thing from this reading, that it helps you with where you're currently at, okay? Now, the cards that I'm using are an Oracle deck by Stacey DeMarco, and I can't exactly, for the life of me, remember the name of the Oracle deck. And the tarot cards that I'm using is going to be the Gilded Tarot. Okay, I will leave a, dis, um, a description of my services in the description box below for those of you who would like to book a reading with me and also to, um, I'm over on Instagram you guys, so if you want to connect with me over on Instagram then head over there. Um, I also share readings over there as well. Okay, Scorpio. Um, yeah, so feel free to connect and I will leave a description of all my information and details in the description box below. Okay, you guys. So Scorpio, what we've got here is the hunger, hunger card for you guys. Right, so Scorpio, you are, um, you're calling in something. I feel you want something. You want something from your partner or significant other you are hungry for something okay i really feel that um i feel here with this card mostly that you're calling in something you're calling in something from your partner or significant other or someone that you're connected to I feel you're hungry for some kind of um, information or in, I'm going to say information. You're hungry for some kind of information that isn't quite clear to you right now. I feel Scorpio that whoever you're connected to, that you're not seeing things clearly I feel that someone could be hiding something from you or keeping something hidden from you and you're in search of answers. You're hungry to find out what this is about, what the fuck is going on. Um, you want answers. You're hungry to find out more information or more knowledge from whatever is being hidden from your view in regards to the person that you're connected to or thinking about when you tune into this reading is how I want to say it. That's just how I'm seeing it. Okay. Um, I feel, Scorpio, if you're hungry to learn something or you're calling in answers, then I feel you will get it. You will get it. If you're committed to, yeah, because look, you've got the Page of Swords here. And the Page of Swords is really curious. Okay, this is you. You want answers. You're in search for answers, Scorpio. You know, what is it that you're trying to find out about this person? Okay, you could be watching them. You're keeping a close eye on this person. You're... You're viewing them on social media. You're watching who they're connecting with. You're watching who they're interacting with. You're trying to gather up lots of information or dirt on this person because you want answers. You want information. Now, you, your person, okay, may not know this is what you're doing. It could be you hiding this from that person. Okay, for some of you, this is not going to resonate for all of you, but for some of you, you may even hire a private investigator. 
okay? Because you feel that this person's up to no good. Look at this, the tower moment. Wow. Wow. This is heavy energy, you guys. Okay? Something unexpected, something abrupt is happening within a connection or a relationship. Okay? Something is going to... fall apart with the tower card okay but this is a very necessary moment that needs to happen maybe this person will catch you out or you will catch them out okay whatever's happening is going to create a vulnerable experience for you okay i feel that you're going to be put in a very vulnerable position scorpio um, but it's a position that it, it this this moment needs to happen. This tower moment needs to happen because if something's hidden from you here and you're needing to go in search for answers and information or dirt on this person, I feel you will get what you you're looking for, and it's going to bring about a, a sudden unexpected change within the connection or. It, or transformation within the connection. But something's going to change. Something's going to shift. Something's going to alter. It's going to alter the experience for you. It's going to alter the relationship. Um, because you want stability. You want solid ground. You want stability. You're, you're sick of like feeling anxious. You're sick of feeling anxious. Okay, Six of Cups. In the reverse, he's saying to me that um, you may find something out about this person in regards to their past. This person that you're dealing with may be in contact with someone from their past. Okay. I feel that the person that you're connected to, Scorpio, may have children um, from a past relationship and you're suddenly finding out something about this, like this, this unexpected happening may be coming out of nowhere. Maybe this person is not in contact with their child or children and... I don't know, something's hidden here from you, but something will also be revealed with the tower moment. Okay. With this um, as well, I'm seeing that something happened in the past and you can't let this go, Scorpio. I feel um, you have a soulmate connection with this person, but you don't trust this person because of their past. Okay, you don't trust this person because of their past, but there is a soulmate connection here. And you're hungry to find out answers. You're hungry for truth. You're hungry for honesty, okay? You want communication. You want honest communication. But I feel, Scorpio, you're going to go on a little bit of a hunt to find out what you're looking for. And I feel that you may hide this from your significant other. Um, for you single people, I feel that you are wanting to connect with someone from your past. Maybe this person showed up or shows up in your dream and it triggers something in you. And so you start to get curious and maybe even find them on social media. Do a little bit of research on them because you're thinking about them. Okay, you may find out something unexpected about this person. 
okay you may find out something that you didn't expect about this person and, and it may shock you like it may be very shocking news to you okay oops this one just flew out let me just grab that okay we got the seven of pentacles this is saying here that um, be patient, Scorpio. It's saying I'm I'm hearing patience, patience. If this blows up, if something blows up within a connection, then I feel patience is required. Patience is required. Um, maybe whilst you're doing this research or hunting, focus on some other things. You know, have a look at, like, look, have a look at how far you've come within your connection with this person. Spirit saying, take a look and see how far you've come. You know, you've been through a lot together. You've harvested a lot with this person, for those of you who are in a connection. Okay? You've invested a lot. You've been committed to this person. Or you're wanting them because you've invested a lot in this person. And you've harvested a lot with this person. You want to take things to the next level. You may want commitment. This can also speak of if shit falls down around you, if you find out some dirt and it totally changes everything within this connection, it's asking for you to be have patience and invest more time and energy into this connection. You may want to seek a counsellor or a mentor, okay, to help you through this. Whatever's going on here. Um, and if you don't seek a counsellor together, then I see this as you seeking advice from someone on what to do. Because you're going to be like, you know, we, we've got a lot together. We've shared a lot together. We've done a lot together. Do I let this go now? Or do I just use this to make our relationship stronger? So it could be you seeking advice and information from someone else to help you with, with what it is that you want to do. Like I see you really assessing, okay, well, what do I do next? Because it's, I see you looking back on this connection going, wow, we've got all this. What do I do next? What do I do? What does Scorpio do next? Well, Scorpio goes and seeks advice from someone. Okay, Scorpio goes and seeks advice from someone to know what the next move will be. To know whether you want to commit to this person or to just leave it where it is. But I think things are shifting in a really big way, in an unexpected way. I see you, Scorpio, really hungry for answers, for some kind of information, definitely. I really do see that within the cards. But whatever's happening, uh, things are not going to be the same. Okay? Things are not going to be the same. Things have to shift. Things will shift. Things will definitely shift. Uh, but I do see for you, Scorpio, this is a soulmate connection. I do see that. Okay, I do see you also reflecting back on fond times that you had together. I see you reflecting back on um, the, the initial stages of the connection 
and how you brought happiness in to each other's lives you know you you made each other feel alive and you, and you were reminded with this person what it felt like to feel joy again to feel abundant in love again to have your emotional cups full again so i see you sort of reflecting back on that and and those initial stages of the relationship because i feel that you've been together for quite some time okay so yes yeah, scorpio i'm going to leave it right there i hope you enjoyed this reading feel free to like this reading if it resonated for you um, feel free to leave your comments below and until next time i'll speak to you soon